Hi everyone, welcome to yet another video for Philips Tecron DDS CAD. In order to further optimize the Legionella prevention, DDS CAD allows you to model and calculate potable water systems, including ring lines. Before viewing the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to hit the bell to be notified of new videos. Enjoy! To start the modeling, I will first insert a manifold in a model. I will come to the category sanitary and subcategory hot water and I will select this manifold uh, with two outputs. Uh, the mounting height I will set as 0.8 and I will insert in the beginning of the shaft. If we look in 3D, the output is directed to the bottom. Uh, so I would like to rotate this manifold to be vertical so in the rod pause scale tab uh, I will change the around x axis parameter to 90 degrees yep all right from now I will start a hot water coming from somewhere uh, at a mountain height of 2.4 and I will connect it to the manifold. Like this. Now, I will start the pipe again, but now from the manifold outputs, and you see I have two, uh, I have two connections, the lower and the higher. I will start by the lower, and I will cross all the connections, press enter and I can directly start the other pipe. The higher one. Um, and just go to the end of the other pipe and click on this connection and DDS CAD will automatically connect both with the, this option of horizontal vertical distance back and I created this loop. Now, I will directly connect it to these connection points with this option of automatic connection with this um, connection type, cut to pipes in floor or ceiling. Here it is, our ring line has been created. Now I will insert a calculation point and I will give a name of ring line 01 and I will direct click on a calculate button. In the calculation results I will direct calculate and we see as a result important here for the ring line is the stagnant water in liters. And we see that DDS CAD identifies this as a ring line. Okay, as a result, we can also generate a report with this information. And go to reports button. This report is available from the dimension in cold and hot water. And if we go to the next page, and we see the stagnant volume for these three sub-circuits. If you like this video, share it. If you have any questions or suggestions, put your comment below and we'll get back to you. Cheers!